Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new busy video. So in this video we are going to check how we can use the embosser module of busy, one of the effect modules, how we can integrate it with a 3D shape rendering and especially how we can use it with a GGL material a height map mode WTF normals. So we will reach this kind of effect in which the emboss texture is used as a height map and then the normals for the 3D shape are automatically generated by the GGL material shader. As you can see, it's kind of a creepy bulb eye looking at us. Okay, uh, let's start from scratch. So I will get all of them and delete everything and I will start exactly from scratch. So first thing first, we need an input module. So we don't need the audio of the movie, we're just going to take the player module. So this is the basically a cheat movie with the output texture enabled. Great. Then I'm going to get one of my videos, uh, which sh should be royalty free, hopefully. I just drop it here in the module and uh, now it's playing. Let's get another output module just to see what's, what we got. Like the viewer module. Connect is here and there we go. This is our video. Great. Uh, now let's take the emboss module. So we're going to Pizzi. Uh, we're going to effect. There is this effect here called um, embosser. Right. So we just connect it here. Uh, let's go for the white thing because we basically need a black and white image. So let's play a bit around with the parameters in order to get the result we want. This looks this looks pretty pretty okay. Great. Now we need our JIT world. So I will just take my snapshot world plus camera. It's just basically a simply JIT, a simple JIT world with some attributes set like floating one, uh, full scale anti-aliasing and so on. It's nothing crazy. So we just drop it here. Great. Now, as you can see, when I drop my JIT world inside the, the patch, basically these objects stop playing because I think automatically it got the context of my JIT world and is now drawing to my JIT world context, which is pretty amazing that it does it automatically. I think this is inside the uh, the JavaScript script. So if we check now if what this object is drawing to, uh, now it's still drawing to his internal context, okay. I don't, I don't get exactly how this works, but um, the cool thing is that it's now related to my main JIT world context, so very cool. So one thing we need to do now is create our GGL grid shape, right? Which draws the game, and there she is. Um, basically, we need to say matrix output because we are going to use a um, GGL mesh for that. Because we need a GGL mesh in order to um, uh, make the object create automatically the normals with the PUTF normals height map mode. Um, great, I'm going to attach here. I'm going to attach here a load bang so this gets automatically banged when our patch is loaded. GGL mesh draws to game and we need to say tangent auto tangents for that in order for the UTF normals to work so auto tangents one that's actually no okay that's it then we connect this here great um oh of course we have to say automatic zero otherwise this uh grid shape continuously bangs the matrix out uh, as you can see, I also increased the dimensions of this grid shape to 512 by 512 in order to have a bit more resolution. And great, now we need the GGL material. So GGL material game, and then we say height map mode WTF normals. Good. So we connect this to the GGL mesh. Great. Um, good. Now for the WTF normals mode, we need a texture with rectangle, rectangle zero. So we need to create a GGL texture. And uh, let's say rectangle zero. And then we connect it here to the output of the emboss. Now I am not sure exactly the rectangle is still set to one because we should say adapt zero in order for this to work. But then the dimension would also be the, the default dimension of GGL texture, which is 512 by 512. So if we want to work with the native resolution of this video, which I happen to know it's full HD, then we have to say dimension uh, 920 by 1080. So we are sure that we are working with the native resolution of this texture. Good, so basically, 
that's the same image just set with red angle zero because that's what we need in order for the bootf normals to work i will connect now this to height map mode right and uh, we got it so now it's using this as a height map and it's automatically generating the normals for the distorted shape great um, if we want to also see the colors we just take the original texture so the original movie colors and connect it here to the first input which is the diffuse input great and uh, that's it now we could change the shader that is responsible for the lighting of this object so if we double click on the ggl material we can choose a different diffuse model for example um or a layer it's pretty good and then we can the specular model we can for example choose fong we can play around with the shininess i think 10 is pretty good so let's actually hard code these into the ggl material so let's just go inside the GGL material and say specular model, uh, we say Fong. And diffuse model, we say we want to use Oren Nayer. I think that's how it's called. Cool. Uh, we want to set the matte diffuse to white. Right. And we also want to set the matte specular to one. So we have the full color. Great. And let me double click again. We can maybe choose even a different... Uh, yeah, not Toon. Toon is a bit cartoonish. Then Word. Maybe Word is even cooler, actually. Then we can play a bit around with the shininess, make it slightly bigger or more focused. Yeah, okay, you can choose yourself which model you prefer. Now, one thing is that if we want to um, make the height map go higher, so to have a bigger height map, height map, um, we could use, for example, the BZ module, which is here into Mix Composites, called Operator, right? So we could do something like that, just apply this here, and then we could say Multiply. We can actually connect even to a float, right? Um, okay, but first, this kind of messes up with my patch. Let's connect this back here. And second, it doesn't really work because it's clamping the output maximum to one and we want to go above one. So what we can do is to just do it manually, create a GGL pix that draws to game. Right, we go inside, we say multiply. And then instead of an input, we just create a param and say param mult default of one. Connect is here. Great, then we create a message, mult dollar one. Connect is here. And there we go. Oh, and it's not working, and you know why? Because we also have to set rectangle zero also on the GGL picks. So rectangle zero, otherwise it will not work. So let's check. Yeah, now it's working. And we can enlarge our eight map. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's transform this texture into type float 32 because now we can actually go above one yeah that's the thing that's the thing we can now actually go above one if we transform the texture in type float 32 now looks cool we can also add a couple of lights just to have it uh, just to have a bit of variation in the light diffuse one zero zero point three one something like that we can create another one and place it in a different place let's say type point position uh, one one minus ten for example and let's make this like green right yeah something like that let's actually make this white it's a bit too much otherwise um great great so we can play a bit around with that. Uh, let me try to load another movie just to see what different effects we get. Uh, let's maybe try with the um, caballos. Okay, uh, there's a bit too many details here now. Uh, let's see if we can adjust it. Not really, maybe we could use like some kind of smooth module to, to smooth this video out. Let's see if there is actually one. So transform like a blur module. Let's see if we got something. Maybe this one. Let's give it a try. So if we connect this here. Not really. Okay, I cannot find any blur model, but if you find one, then uh, you can connect it here and kind of blur our final video in order to have a bit more smooth 8 map. Let's try just another video just for fun, like the world. Okay, cool. This looks pretty cool. 
Okay, let's close this up. I, I hope this was interesting and uh, I'm not asking you to smash that like button, but if you could gently caress it, that would be great. And also subscribe to the channel for more of this stuff. All right, so thank you very much for following. Check my pattern for more stuff and I'll see you soon in the next video. Ciao.